Hello and welcome to Purple Daily. Matthew Collar, Sage Rosenfels. We are live inside the Indiana Convention Center for the NFL Combine. And Sage, I just spent my last 20 minutes talking with Vikings General Manager Rick Spielman. So I want you to give me a topic and I will tell you what Rick Spielman said about it. Well, before we get into it, luckily, at these press conferences, it's always nice when the head coaches and the general managers tell us everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, very, they, very they, transparent. They told us who's unhappy. They told us who they're going to draft. They told us exactly what they're looking at in free agency. The wealth of information that we got from that press right. conference was amazing. It's so, a reason to listen today. Well, let's just start off with this is the uh, Stefan Diggs situation. You asked uh, Rick Spielman about his situation. If he had asked for a trade, and what was his answer? I did. I looked right in his eyes, and I said, <laughs> That I demand the truth, Rick, about what is going on with Stefan Diggs. Now, here's the interesting part of this. I always listen to what people are saying, but also what they're not saying. So Rick Spielman, when he was asked about Stefan Diggs, he talked a lot about how much he loves Stefan Diggs, which we knew. The organization appreciates him. He's a really great wide receiver. Spielman said multiple times that he had the best year of his career last year, which I would agree with in terms of your yards per catch, how he fit into what Gary Kubiak wanted to do. Catch numbers definitely down yard numbers up exactly but he did not say oh everything's great and and what you saw out there on the, in the media side and all the conversation about it was just totally made up and and he did say that sometimes things get blown up a little bit more because of the nfl world that we live in so when there are weird tweets or someone washes their instagram or whatever it's is just kind of how football works. And there was no specific report that he was trying to get traded, but since Spielman spent so much time talking about how much he loves Stefan Diggs, I felt it was necessary to ask him, okay, well, is he trying to get traded, though? And he said, well, I haven't met with his agent yet, which to me was not a hard no. How dare you ask me if Stefan Diggs wanted to be traded? So it's one of those things where this is the entire Stefan Diggs situation has been smoke, there must be fire, but where is the fire? Can they put out the fire? Well, but also Diggs adds to that smoke. I think that's part of the problem here is that because of his tweets or his Instagram or those types of things, there's all these sort of un underlying messages that he throws out there that makes you come to these sort of conclusions that he wants out of Minnesota. Uh, but, of course, the organization is going to say the right thing, do the right thing in the sense of, of course, they want him back. He's one of the best players on this football team. He's one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League. He's extremely valuable to have across from Adam Thielen. He's extremely valuable to Dalvin Cook's production as a running back, is to have not just a top flight wide receiver, but a guy that can also take the top off. He's a fast guy, but he's also a guy who's like a Wes Welker in the slot. He really does. He's a full uh, package wide receiver. So, of course, the organization loves him and they're going to want him back but they I, I think his answer is a bit showing about again like about what he didn't say right. uh, which is yes yeah, Stefan Diggs is extremely happy and he'll be back for sure and is there's no problems there whatsoever he's going to meet with his agent for some reason there's rarely a reason to meet with a, a receiver's agent or any football player's agent when they have multiple years left on their deal that's right and they just signed him to a contract extension before the 2018 season and, and that's what a whole part of it too and why I don't think that they would make any effort to trade him whatsoever is that he's under contract and there isn't really a whole lot he could do if he wanted out of Minnesota and and Spielman wouldn't say specifically that Diggs is really happy here and especially when it came to asking him about uh, Courtney Cronin who will be on in a little bit she asked him about wanting the ball and all Spielman could really say was, well, of course, you know, all great receivers want the ball because that's why they're great wide receivers. But they also did, like, they threw him the ball a lot last year. It wasn't like he was the third option. I mean, I get it. They are in a run-based offense. They've got Dalvin Cook. This is the style they decide that's going to win the most football games, keep them in the most football games, in particular with their quarterback. I mean, they don't have Pat Mahomes as a quarterback, so they're not going to throw it 50, 50 times every single game. So, But he is the number one guy, especially with Thielen being out for, what, five games or something last year, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. So, I mean, Diggs was far and away. The, and even when he came back, he wasn't this, the Adam thing that we saw in past years. Yeah. So Diggs is the number one guy. He is getting the ball a lot. He is the number one guy in a lot of the, especially the play action stuff where mm -hmm. the tight ends are blocking. He is the guy. So uh, I think they're doing everything they can to make him happy to give him the football. There's just not going to be as many catches. But again, we saw those yards. We talked about it all offseason last year. Uh, once they signed, you know, made Stavansky the coordinator. Mm -hmm. Once they made Kubiak sort of the, the senior consultant. 
and I knew they'd run that offense. And the fact that his, he was at 10.0 the year before on his yards. He had 102 catches for just over 1,000 yards. I knew that number would jump up at almost double to 18 yeah. yards per catch. That's phenomenal. So, yeah, yeah you're going to get yep. fewer fewer catches. Right. We're going to have a lot more yards, a lot more opportunities, a lot more chances to make big plays. And, you know, yeah, you can throw guys smoke screens and five yard little routes all the time. But if I'm a wide receiver, I'd rather have fewer catches, but more yards and more touchdowns. Right. And there aren't too many wide receivers in the NFL who can catch the percentage of balls that come their way that Diggs did last year. There, I went back through it trying to find guys who caught around 70% of their passes and average 18 yards a catch. There aren't that many. Doesn't happen. It's hard to find. Yeah. Usually it's like a 50 50 because you have to throw downfield so much for that to happen. And that's why they that, won't that's move our, Stephon that, Diggs. That's from our analytics department, by the it way. It is, yeah. All these, that's right. We have seven analytics people yes. who, are, who who have told us They're on the other side that of the, the camera. further you throw the ball down the field, the lower the chance that it's going to be caught. Correct. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, we needed the whole analytics department. Thanks, guys. All, Appreciate it. All of Pro Football Focus is there. That joke, by the way, if you're listening on the air, it's was free. for the YouTube audience that we are also uh, recording. If you don't know, that's where we put up a lot of our stuff. A lot of our conversations is on YouTube, so you can always just search um, Purple Daily. And then you can see our faces inside the convention center discussing this. So, okay, so that's the latest on uh, Stefan Diggs. That's Rick question Spielman number one. made it very clear, bottom line, that Diggs is great at football and and they want nothing to do with getting rid of him. Um, question number two: What do you think? What, what do you think we asked Spielman the most about? Well, you know, he discussed his running backs. Obviously, he's very happy with his running back situation. But what's the Dalvin Cook scenario in his contract extension? Do you like asking me the questions now? Like, well, you know, I'm asking you the questions. Like, break down this guy's footwork. Yeah. Um, okay. So here's the latest on Dalvin Cook. It sounds to me. By the way, you're more the reporter. Yes. I'm the analyst. I am so this doing is more. Reporting. This yes. is a reporting situation. Yes. When these guys go out and throw and run around in their shorts, that's, that's supposed to be my that's job. That's for you. Yeah. That's right. So, and this is fun for me because normally I'm hosting the show, so I'm asking the questions as opposed to giving you the report. But since I was there for Spielman's private session with reporters, I have to do the reporting. Um, well, let me tell you my takeaway on the way that Spielman talked about Delvin Cook. It sounds to me like. Yeah, we want this guy back. And not just the blowing smoke. Like, of course he's good, but anybody can be a running back. A lot of times, if just with Spielman and Zimmer, you can get a read if they're not really going hard onto it. If it's more of wishy-washy a little bit, they don't want to make any false promises. Like, I'm going to meet with this agent, we'll see how it goes. Exactly. Just the same exact way with Stephon Diggs. This was the opposite. This was very clear that they think every situation with running backs is different, and they think that with Delvin Cook, he is so important to this offense that he's a guy they're going to want to give a contract extension to. Now, he also said that you're not going to hear anything about contract extensions being signed at the combine because they won't sign them until after the draft more yes. likely than not it that, seems like they have sort of, it seems yep. like rick has a process yep. and rob brzezinski the process it's draft so it's obviously the, the combine now yep. it's then free agency then it's the draft and then it's re-signing guys who aren't up you know uh, as uh, unrestricted free agents right when we're talking about march here so it seems like to me that's a couple months down the road you know, maybe uh, in middle of May or even yep. or even into June, um, to to talk about those extensions with those agents. But it was, uh, you know, pretty obvious. Of um, we absolutely want Dalvin Cook here. Yes. We're going to try to sign him. Now this is the time of making up stories, right? Uh -huh. And yep. so with this dig situation and the Dalvin Cook situation, I look at it and go, you know, what if some team did come in and say, yeah, we're going to give up a first rounder and a third rounder for Stefan Diggs. You can then take some of that money, mm -hmm. give it to Dalvin Cook. You also now got some draft picks, which this team is going to need to replace some of these star players that right. you know are just going to either they're going to have to release or didn't play as well or they're free agents or whatever it might be. There is some interesting scenarios there. Yeah, you'd hate to lose a star receiver, one of the best players in the team. Mm -hmm. But you also know you've got other guys like Dalvin Cook that you really, really want to sign back. And he is the focal point of this offense. Yeah. It is a run-first offense. And yep. if you don't have a, a great running back and a run-first offense, what are you doing, right? So uh, there, there might be something there with these, these two scenarios sort of uh, you know working together. So Rick talked about that as well. He was asked, do you think you can really win in 2020 if you are a run-first offense? And the answer was, well, if we have our play action working off of it, which you and I have talked Did extensively. Did you not see the yeah. NFC Championship game in the San Francisco 49ers, which was basically a run 
run only offense right. with the quarterback right. going six for eight. So wouldn't it be great next year if the the Vikings were in the championship game and Kirk Cousins had to go six for eight for <laughs> se- for seventy five yards yes. and, and get to the Super Bowl? That would be nice. Yes, I'm sure Kirk would be thrilled at that. Um, and uh, probably the offensive line would be happy too. Those guys love run blocking and don't always love pass blocking. But it, it just came across to me as if they believe that Delvin Cook is one of their core star young players. And he mentioned Cook in the same, uh, I, I guess, category as Daniil Hunter, which said to me, all right, this is a guy that we're going to hear about an extension coming up pretty soon. 